Hello everybody and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4. We are playing as Prussia, formerly Brandenburg, soon to be the Holy Roman Empire or Germany, whichever one comes first, or both at some point in time, probably both, because we're on our way to uh, gain enough imperial authority where we can pass this, no matter what. Um, not quite sure how imperial authority goes by. Um... I believe we just need a hundred because we don't have enough princes, but, uh, yeah. We have a, uh, cleansing of, uh, the heresy in Venice going on right now. And actually, let's, uh, check. I didn't want that. I wanted empire map mode because I know I have some territories that aren't empire. So we have empire up there. Let's convert some provinces, uh, cultures as well to something more, more acceptable, more Prussian. Um, the great Prussian state cannot have these, uh, outlying, uh, problem uh, citizens. We have to enforce the Prussian uh, rule. So we have quite a few units down here now. Once I realized the supply limit was great, I was like, yeah, let's pour it on. Can't core this just yet. We need 115. Um, we could release them. I mean, we just paid for everything, but uh, we could release them. Let's, uh... Sorry, I couldn't hear you over the sound of me supporting rebels again. Uh, we're not paying 19 for that. We'll pay 8, though, for that. And then we'll, uh, sabotage your reputation again. Yeah! Like it. Um, we were increasing relations with England. Royal marriage? Right, um... I have to ask for military access. I have to get them to like me a little more. And I think if I proclaim a guarantee they'll like us or we'll like them no whatever we'll proclaim a guarantee for now because if they get in a war we can uh Prussia is improving relations they aren't improving relations with anyone I wish I could sort of get them uh to do that uh but that's fine um recall that diplomat we don't need him there I do want to annex you. We have uh, six more years. As I do math quickly in my head before you guys notice. Uh, Hanover. Hanover. Oh, God. I can't say that. Fuck it. Just convert it anyways. This isn't the Umbringe Empire. This is the... Jesus, that's a huge Diplo cost. I don't think I want to change this. No, we have to change Rome, though. Just for prestige's sake. Um, lose admin power, or... Uh, let's lose prestige. Fine with losing prestige. I don't want to lose admin power. Now, our vassals, we have a 0.5% to inherit the uh, Lithuanian throne on Monarch Death. Uh, that's really good. Um, the size penalty is still going down slowly as we continue to expand. Uh, or it's th exactly the same. Poland has rebels. Nice, Poland. Glad to know you're on the right terms. You find the Mamelukes. Can we fight the Mamelukes? I sort of want to fight the Mamelukes. I want to fight, uh, the Ottomans most of all. Uh, we did get an ally in, uh, Persia. Let's improve relations with them. Um... They are at war with uh, Punjab. So they are expanding into uh, India quite aggressively. Jesus. That is uh, not a minor thing. Uh, the Mughal Empire exists too, and they're just getting stomped. Wow. Um, the fact that they're stomped is a pretty big deal because they have some really good ideas. Russia owns some uh, interesting territory. They are currently at war with uh, Min. To improve relations with Russia again, and we'll keep one diplomat free. We have rebels in uh, Japan who is allied with Russia. Um, reduce investments in military. I'd rather not, even though we're way ahead. Seven years. Um, how long is this last? 17 old. Yeah, I'd rather not. Um, Diplo. Let's do Diplo. I'm okay with that. Um, we will lose that, uh, bonus. No, we won't. Don't we have a, uh, we have a negative modifier now, don't we? Yeah, pr 
I guess it doesn't go uh, down anymore. I guess the neighbor bonus is too big. Um, that's a lot of ducats. I'd rather lose this by uh, defense. What was that offense? I don't know. Uh, the Ottomans found a uh, reputation guy, so we're gonna send another one. Well, we didn't send one to begin with, which isn't great, because we do want them to uh, be hated. Like, if we view the map mode right now, oh wow. Um, if we start a coalition against you, can we get everyone in it? Oh, oh, do we no longer? We are we out of our truce with them? We are. We can declare war on them. All right, recall diplomat. Quick, quickly, diplomat. Diplomat, get back. We're gonna take uh, Cambry. Um, it's currently occupied by France, actually, which is really bad for us. Maybe it would have been better to take here. Why are you at war with them? French conquest of... Alright, so they're probably not going to take what's it called. Cambry. They want this place. So the question is, did, uh, what's their name join us? Against us, the uh, Hesse. And it doesn't look like they did... Nope. So I doubt they'll join, but in case they do, I mean, we have a huge army. Our agent was, both of our agents was discovered. Uh, we can hire another general. We'll wait on that. We are currently coring you. Are we not? We are not core you. And I think we want to have our navy out for this one. We are in range, so we won't take any, uh, attrition. Um, what is this? Spain? Spain, what are you doing in, uh, Brittany? That is an interesting place for you, but I don't think you belong. So our fleet should arrive right now. Bam. We now... We just helped France siege that, which isn't great for us, but, you know. Wanna know something? Wanna divide up our army? into stacks so when France pieces out we'll have enough units everywhere that we can pretty much just take whatever I don't care about the attrition rate like we're not gonna lose too much on um, manpower we have so much of it to begin with we will lose a lot in uh, pain for the upkeep but no nothing ventured um, I think we just we did not gain control of that siege I was about to say, I think we just gained it because I saw a French army leave, but I guess they left someone behind to uh, hold the fort. Um, hey, can I get military access so you like us? I can. We are going to... Oh, right. So after we kill these rebels, uh, that'll make them like us a bit more because we fought for their... Or not. I guess it doesn't at all. Uh, France just did something stupid. Yep, France just took all this territory that we wanted. Holy shit, France, you took more territory than you should have, buddy. Now I'm actually going to attack you. Because, uh, that was some pretty important territory I wanted. I'm gonna have all of our army come back. We don't need to be here taking so much attrition. Uh, Baden, we lost our royal marriage with them. They're probably gonna ask for another one. Just send them that. And uh, we can actually not ally you anymore because of a uh, number of great allies. Um, who exactly are these allies that we have for great allies? Please tell me. What? We took a royal marriage with you, you dicks. Alright. Break royal ties, we lose prestige. I'm fine with that. Fuck them. That was not quite the plan. Nice. We'll stop improving relationships too. Fuck you, England. Do we have control of the siege? Please say we do. Alright, good. Because I know Austria is here waiting to uh, siege them out as well. So. I mean, what can we do? We can't. They aren't Empire, are they? Yeah, they aren't Empire. We can't really annex them. I guess we make them a vassal. 
force the religion take their money they don't have money <gasps> did we just sneak into a war against austria <laughs> we're gonna become germany <laughs> what do we need for germany we just need a uh, brunswick and Wurenberg. so brunswick is a monster so we'd have to fight england or poland for that and uh, Wurzburg is right there. Oh my god, that's brilliant. Um, we are gonna lose this battle, so I think it's best if we retreat as soon as possible. Um, can we actually call allies in? Uh, Lithuania is in the war. Can we call Russia in? Will Russia wanna fight, uh... I don't think they will. Yeah, because the war is technically longer than, uh what it was. Did we... We won a battle somewhere. Um, our navy's still here. I guess we can move our navy down here. Blockade them. Um, we sort of want you guys to meet up over here. And we actually want to... Uh, slow down the game now. Because uh, this is a big war. This isn't some tiny... Sh uh, we need a leader. You're in uh, friendly territory. We can assign a leader to you. Not the best leader I wanted. But, you know, it'll do. Um, I think we need more of our soldiers. To be quite honest, I think, uh... Yeah, they have a shit ton of soldiers right now. Where'd you get all these soldiers? Where are we? Are we in the mountains? Complete We're not in the mountains, fuck. We need... Mountains. Those mountains are down here. He arrives on the 10th, we leave on the 10th. Oh god, we're rolling the dice so hard. Oh, he's gonna try and cut us off. Alright, our 20 stacks up here now. This is a, uh... Yeah, let's not fight in the plains. That'd be good. Go into the forest. Uh, did his army just evaporate into dust? Nope, there it is. Uh, fuse the army. Oh shit, he's going for uh, Lithuania. Oh, but he took a crossing penalty. Oh my god. Are we going to win this battle? I think we are. Oh, we're so we're going to win this battle. And it's Hills. He has a training crossing penalty. It's a slaughter. It's a fucking slaughter. Get out of here, Austria. Get out. Get out, GG. Oh my. That's so good. Oh my god. Not only that, I think we are tech level ahead of him. We're actually really far behind him. How is he so far ahead? Wow. Uh, no wonder he's faring so well with high generals and shit. He has like huge tech advantage on us. Um, we're chasing him. The hell we're letting him uh, resupply. He's headed down here. Do we have a general who's faster than this? You have a high mobility. I think we're using the other guy, right? No, we're using Michael Vaughn, whatever his face is. Oh! Oh, we're taking the penalty now, but he's so low on morale. But we t oh, wow, we took a huge penalty in this battle. I think we're going to need more soldiers. Uh, so let's just build like a shit ton right now. And some cavalry to uh, back them up and we're out of money. I mean, I'm not too sore about this because we do have Lithuania right there ready to uh, screw them up. And now we have a blockade on uh, Austria. Oh jeez, that was a very costly battle for us. Um, but I think what we're going to do is uh, we have to chase them down. We can't not. He's not there. We can't fight him in the mountains, so if he does uh, end up there, we would have to uh, not fight him. Alright, I think we just siege. That is planes, though. That would suck to fight him. Why do we have a 2 star 4 general, though? 
I say two star four general like that's a thing. It's indeed not a thing. Actually, quite the opposite of a thing. Let's consolidate regiments here. We want our army to be stronger than his, not uh, more vulnerable to surprise stupid shit. Um, we're currently gaining uh, 27 gold. Does that say peace? I don't know where that piece is coming from, but whatever. We are gaining, let's see, our economy. Um, spoils of war, we're getting nothing right now. So we're going to take their capital, and then we'll take the war goal we want. I think that'll be good. Um, he has a huge army still, though. I think we need more cannons. Might even be worth it to take out some loans. Uh, he is now moving his army. I think he sees our giant stack of, like, ones and shit, and he's like, Ah, oh, I can take that. I'll crush it. Oh, he is, uh, going for Lithuania again. Uh, no, he's going for the 20. Now he's running away. Anyways, once we take the capital and stuff, uh, we should be pretty solid. Ah, uh, he's gonna fight Lithuania. He's going to take another crossing penalty, too. And there we go. Crossing penalty. A military loot. Good, it's not the one we were using. Um, so this will be another huge win for us because, again, he's taking a negative two pen Oh, he has a high fire uh, bonus, though. And I'm sure he has a uh, actually, like, good fire um, setup. He's still losing. Um, I mean, we don't have a bad general or situation we're just getting bad rolls on uh, Lithuania's die because we had to borrow that because mom won't let us bring our die to school um, so let's take Wurzburg and then peace out of this I think is the best solution at this point uh, here are uh, more cannons for the great army that's moving all over the place and again that consolidation of our regiments really uh gained us a lot of money in the meantime. Um, I think we do want to go with uh, some more infantry, though. C just because they're cheap and plentiful. Having a cheap, plentiful source of, uh, like, mass units come in is uh, important right now. But this this ruins Austria. I mean, the Ottomans are bound to come in on this um, because they're probably rivals, maybe? They aren't, actually. Which is nice. Um, the only thing I fear now is actually, um, the one thing I really have to fear is, uh, the Ottoman Empire getting involved in the, uh, a conflict with, uh, Persia. Because if that happens, I have to come and aid Persia because they're such a good ally to have over there. Gain the core. Yeah. Are you really gonna f fight? Oh god, there's a cat making noise. I'm not answering that cat call. Send our great general over. He should be able to, uh... Ooh, you are taking quite the heavy losses, but, uh, us coming over was a big help as well. Now, I do want to take one of you guys, assign a leader. This amazing siege leader, I think, believe. Where'd he go? I know he's in this army. Um, by amazing siege, I mean maneuver leader. <laughs> Not at all siege. Completely the opposite. I think we'll take hold of this siege for now. Um, and I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna make, we're gonna try and get Austria all the way to 100, and we're just gonna make them release as many people as we can, um, bringing the uh, Holy Roman Empire back to a uh, sort of former glory days. Um, but God, this war couldn't have come at a better time. Let's just check our time. We are reaching that 20 minute mark that I love to start playing at. Oh man, like I knew. I don't know why I thought there would be an issue, but like, God, this is so good. This war was just amazing for us right now. Um, the fact that we're blockading their ports and stuff is equally as great. Uh, we changed the province. Uh, that's good news for us. Actually, let's view the province, uh, the map mode. So we have Saxons, uh, and this is all like what we have. Uh, we are the Prussians. Um... We have quite a few Saxons, actually. Uh, Munster wants to come through to fight uh, France. France is fighting for another one of our territories, I think. We'll accept. We'll let them come through. 
I don't mind. Now again, we want to keep track of where uh, this giant uh, Austrian stack is, because we don't necessarily want to lose a battle. Especially after we've gained and done so much. So yeah, here they are. Are they actually going to go in on that? I think we want to bring you down then. Another penalty. Jesus. Like, they keep doing it. Oh, please say we get there. Oh, thank God. I was real worried there. Now we can actually reinforce this battle as well. Uh, with more troops. And Austria just can't be sitting pretty right now. Like, they must be thinking, like, oh, shit. We're getting cabs. We didn't even need to uh, bring in the other army. Let's have you go sit in the uh, capital, then. Attack is always the best, or we can go with, uh, let them come. Let's go with attack, and I think we want to reboost up to one stability. Um, it was a little more expensive than, uh, maybe we should have went for, but, you know, I'm A-OK -okay with that. And, uh, damn, we are just stomping the Ottomans thanks to our great, great ally. It's not pretend it isn't our allies winning us this war. Uh, god, they have a lot of, uh, are you going all the way back to your capital? You are. We have 40. We only have 29. I think we can take you. We didn't take that crossing penalty. Damn, that just sucks. But oh, that last roll was so good. It was so good. Oh, oh my god. Yes. <laughs> Austria, get out. Austria, get out of Empire, please. Oh, let's speed this bad boy up. I'm okay with this now. 22 stack, um, even if they manage to, uh... Want us something? Screw it. Let's take a risk. We'll just chase down the army now with this guy. Oh, they stopped there. Well, goodbye. Oh my god. Oh my god. S Lithuania is just like... The fact that the AI will fight each other so well is so good. Sweden? Oh, shit. I don't want to accept, but I have to. Oh, I don't have to right now, though. Um, Woodenburg. Press the issue. So who's in the war now? Uh, no, I want... Why can I not? There we go. So the Ottomans are in the war, France is in the war. Screw, we're not fighting that, screw that. I'll take the hit, alright? Bohemia broke the alliance with us, I'm fine with that too. Fuck you, Bohemia. We don't actually need territory from you, we need it from uh, Munster though, so a weak one of them is uh, good for us. Lost our conquest causes, allies against uh, Poland. Not great. Use you guys up so you can be a mega fleet. And I mean, we just lost track of the army, didn't we? But did we just kill it? I think we just killed what was left of the army, so we can cap siege now. Attach siege. Attach siege. Let's have you guys sit around, see what they can muster up for uh, their war. I don't know where that guy's going. Okay. I guess you're fighting with a uh, huge disadvantage, but okay. Yeah, I don't know why they decided that was a good engagement, but you know, the AI likes doing that kind of stuff. Can do another tech upgrade for military. Um, combat width goes up, which is real good. Just gonna put a whole bunch of sieges around, uh territory we have right now because again we want to get them all the way to 100 then we'll have him sit back in the capital so that's real important to uh, get it capped and uh, you go oh you don't have to there you have that Lithuania's got this shit on uh, cover I just want to end this episode with us finally conquering the ter one of the territories we need from Austria uh, 
Reform is the answer. Yeah. So again, Lithuania just hunting down what's left of Austria's army. Great news for us. We are about to take their capital in a few more ticks of uh Oh wow. That was a huge jump. Oh, this is just look at this beautiful moment right now, guys. I mean we're gonna get in a shit ton of aggressive expansion, but uh Actually we might not because I'm releasing uh vassals too. The Ottomans are fighting Poland. Oh, Poland's in this war. We could have uh, used them to distract the Ottomans. So we have their capital now. Let's go down here. Take another territory. Uh, ooh. Reform society. I'll reform it. People are calling for peace already. I think not. We are going to take that extra war exhaustion uh, tick. So we get to 100%. Because God will it feel good when we uh, take as much as we can from the uh, Austrian Empire. Or well, the soon to be less Austrian Empire. We found out about a new place. Jesus, France. You. Brunei is huge. Powerful. France is. Recall. Recall my. Uh, colonists that I don't have. We have a lot of, uh, people that we can be, uh... Would you ally me again? You will not. You will never ally me. Neither will you. You can't, technically. Let's improve our relationship with Lithuania again. Can we annex you yet? I think we can. When the war is over, we can annex you. Let's improve relations with, uh, Russia and, uh, Prussia. Not Prussia. Uh, Persia. I guess we'll, um, I guess we have to, do, we have to do something. We need more allies. Oop, I just made a bad move into a territory I shouldn't have. Uh, good thing we have so many units just laying around doing nothing but sieging. Another siege over. Another siege. We are getting close. Alright, let's see what we can actually take right now. Alright, so we want there. It's not taken yet. Release them. Release Bavaria. Please. Oh, wow. We can't release Bavaria. That's expensive as hell. Uh. I think I'll be good. But yeah, we just need this siege to finish the one up there. I think you guys could assault this just fine. We have the cannon support. Savoy! Against France. Recall the diplomat. Except we have to fight France. France has shit that we want. Call to arms. Yeah. And they think that's the only person we can actually call to arms. God damn, our alliances are not that uh, great for us. Oh, Persia, we can call you to arms. This does mean we sort of need to re-evaluate our decisions. We're going to continue that. Oh, nope, we're going to continue that siege. We're going to recombine our army here. And uh, we're going to peace out relatively quickly once we have that territory under our belt. We have a two-star general, a two-guy general dude here. Uh, that's a scary army you have there, France. Um, let me build some more cavalry and shit so we can fight you on a more even playing field. Currently, I do not have anywhere near my uh, force limit. Not that it matters because I have Lithuania backing me up. Build a whole bunch of army. Probably not the best idea when we only have 11,000 uh, manpower, but you know. Just assault it. Come on. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do take the one territory we need. Oh god, that's so ex Oh, it's not that expensive, actually. It is, but it isn't. Give me money. 
Idiot. Okay, I'm fine with that. A lot of uh, Imperial authority went up. And I will see you guys next time as someone is invading my room. But uh, the war with Austria is over. Now the war with uh, France is going to begin. And Jesus, it's going to be a really bad war for us. Actually, hold on. Yeah, it's going to be a terrible war for us. Like, we may have all these guys coming in. But, uh, actually, no. Uh, Russia should be able to just sweep in. Yeah, Russia's coming in real fast with uh, that 45 stack. So, really, all we have to do is wait for Russia. But let's end the video here. We've done quite a bit of work. Um, we're going to hide our fleet because I know we can't take on a uh, French fleet. Not without all of our merchant ships coming by. Um, we should actually hide our merchant ships because, uh, god damn, I don't want to lose the merchant fleet. We have 933 ducats. We gain 34 per month. We have all of our advisors up. Um, and yeah, we are set for a, a big long war to come, just like with the Austrians, but, uh, probably double that because we're going to be doing a lot of, uh, a lot of real technical maneuvers to get mountains and rivers and all those other pen uh, crossings and penalties against the French. But I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching as always and uh, peace.